Hello guys and welcome back to another astronaut uh, tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you, as the video's name suggests, uh, three ways to connect um, to connect variables and strings uh, in uh, Python. Which means which means that you can print out a variable and a string in the same sentence. Oh, and before we begin, I saw that one of my videos has uh, has got uh, more than 2,000 views. Uh, I would like to uh, I would like to thank you all very much for this. Uh, I never thought I would uh, make such a successful video at least uh, so soon. And uh, I I just got uh, I just logged on to YouTube uh, one day and I uh, and I saw 2,220 views. So thank you very much for this uh, again. And uh, without further ado, let's jump into the tutorial. So for this tutorial I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code or VS Code for short and not Visual Studio 2022. Um, most people who program in uh, Python use Visual VS Code. I am not very sure. I just like the colors so uh, this is why I uh, like using it sometimes. Get started, okay. Uh, double click to uh, make a new script and then select the language and Python is here. You can always search for it if you prefer. Okay, so first of all let me set a variable so that we can use it. I am going to say name is equal to uh, astronaut. Okay. And then let's say, uh, yes, let's start with the first method which is a very simple and very classic method. Let me just say this. Okay, so uh, this is uh, print, simply print, and then brackets, parentheses, whatever you like to call them, and then inside uh, you, you you type in the speech marks, and then you can say, for instance, hello. W this is what we're going to work with: hello, comma, space, and then the variable. Okay, hello. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, name, which is okay, which is astronaut. And then plus you can say exclamation. Okay, anyway, so you can see that when I run this, uh, yes, Python file. Okay, let me just uh, okay, let me just zoom in. Uh, you can do that by Control and the equal uh, sign in your on your keyboard. You can also zoom out with Control and uh, minus on your keyboard, and then you can reset with. Uh, Control and numpad zero. Anyway, I'm sorry for that. Uh, okay, so you can see that here it says hello astronaut. Great, which means it works. So, this is the first method, and then uh, let me just delete it. And let's move to the second one. Okay, so the second one uh, is. I accidentally deleted the name, that's okay. Name is equal to astronaut. Okay, and now print then um, hello and then notice I will not leave a space, I will not place a space over here because you'll see I am going to use this comma and then name and then well if you want to add the exclamation point you should probably the exclamation mark you should probably use a plus because you'll see what I will explain what this does. Okay, so first of all, let's run it, and then hello astronauts. Okay, so that works as well. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, no, hello astronauts, again. So th that works, but let me explain for a second what this uh, what this comma does and why it is uh, different uh, the, from this uh, uh, plus sign. Okay, so. What this comma does is basically it adds a space uh, between the terms of this sentence. So I do not need to add a space over here because then I will have two spaces because the comma is like the plus sign, but it also uh, adds a oh, it also adds a space. So similarly, if I use the comma here instead of this of uh, that um, plus sign, you will see that. It says hello astronaut and you can see that there is another space here but 
nobody writes like this. So yes, you should probably use this uh, plus sign. Anyways, uh, this is uh, for the second method. This is everything you should probably know for the second method. Um, the third method is a very interesting one, my personal favorite. And um, I don't know about you, but I, I don't know if you know this already, or I don't know what's uh, what the what the tradition is if people learn it uh, fr uh, when they start the programming. But I learned it. Uh, I didn't learn it at first. I don't know why. I think that uh, some videos I saw went uh, did not consider this was a beginner's way of doing things. But anyway. Uh, this is called an F string, and you you might have heard it, but an F string uh, is uh, pretty simple and pretty fast. So okay, so what you have to do is print and then uh, oh, and then before outside these pitch marks, you write an F, a simple F, simple as that, and then hello and then comma if you want and then uh, shift and bracket uh, shift and square brackets to access these curly brackets and inside these curly brackets you write the na name of your variable so in this case name okay and then you can uh, type in an exclamation point so you can see i do not need anything i do not need uh, extra spaces plus signs commas no nothing just just these curly brackets and it's exactly what i would have done uh, if i had said hello and then astronaut for instance okay so you don't have to do any ex you don't have to make any extra steps it's very simple i I honestly love it because it you can add multiple variables in such a little time. But uh, if you have not thought of it yourselves, you might say your name. Okay, your name is astronaut. Why wouldn't you just add astronaut? Uh, the answer is pretty simple because uh, if you if you make a program and you want to uh, you want your user to type in their name, you want Call them astronaut because that would be very confusing. So you would ask them to uh, put their to insert their name uh, with the input command, which uh, is very important, and then you you would say name like this. So these are all the three ways you can do them. Let me just you can do wait. I'm sorry. You this is all. These are all the three ways you can um, uh, connect the variable variables with strings. Let me just write all of them. Oh, and I noticed I did not uh, run this so that I can show you that it works. Okay, hello, astronauts. <laughs> okay. Um, so let me just type in all the variables, all the methods, sir. Um, okay, so these are all the three, all three methods. Uh, okay, let me zoom in. Okay, so quick recap, we've got the first method which is with the plus sign and which is exactly, which just connects these. We have the comma, uh, which uh, adds the space in between the terms of the sentence. And then we've got the F string, which I definitely recommend using because since I learned it, uh, it's one of my favorite things in Python. And which is pretty simple actually, you just uh, replace uh, you just write your variable in the sentence which is very practical okay so the, that was it for this tutorial i hope you learned something if you didn't uh, i hope you learn something in the next uh, tutorial and uh, thank you very much for watching see you in the next one What a beautiful day to relax and watch astronauts videos.